Hi, my name's Ashley. Welcome back to Life Beyond Locks. I'm so excited. I started up the video by saying that. But truly, I'm excited because this is something that you've been asking for for some time, or some of you have been asking for for some time, and now it's finally happened. And I just love when that occurs. So some time ago, back around Christmas time, I featured a topper that was new to me. It was the Upgrade Aura Topper from Uniwaves. It's a skin top topper, not to be confused with a silk top topper, but it has a similar look at a less expensive price point. Who doesn't love that? So when I featured that in Truffle Brown, that was the color that was the closest match to me at the time, I got a bunch of messages from women saying, is it available in Moose Brown? Will it be available in Moose Brown? When is it happening? And it's finally happened. It's here. The Upgrade Aura topper is available in Moose Brown. <laughs> so ask and you shall receive. I think I love that most about Uniwakes. I mean, all companies should be listening to their customers, but Uniwakes really does. If you request something, they hear you and then they made it happen. And I just absolutely love that. This Moose Brown though is different. It has a different code than the typical Moose Brown, which I believe is 223R. This one is 505R. So it's a light Moose Brown. Is it that much lighter? Because I know some, some women are gonna be panicking right now because you're used to mousse brown, that's your color, and now this is the light mousse brown. I will say this. I don't have a mousse brown now that is like brand new, fresh out of the box. I paused there because I literally caught myself in a lie. I just received a shipment of new toppers or new toppers to me from Uniweeks to have a look at, and one of them actually is a regular mousse brown. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison, which is amazing. So it's a slightly lighter mousse brown. Now, mousse brown is a good color in general because it has dimension. So it tends to be, the original one has like a medium brown base and then lots of highlighting in it. And dimension is amazing when you're wearing a topper because it means you don't have to dye your biological hair to match perfectly as long as some of the shades are picked up by your bio hair underneath. So the light brown has a slightly lighter base and I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like compared to the regular mousse brown. So I just went and grabbed it. It's still in a fishnet or hairnet. Okay, so if I hold these side by side, I'm guessing you can probably bet which one is the regular. That's this one here. And this one is the lighter mousse brown. So it clearly is lighter. That said, I do think both can work with my hair as it currently is. Now, some of you might be going, is there something up with her camera? The color of her hair looks different. I did try to dye my bio hair. That's a whole other thing, but I hadn't dyed it since 2019 pre-pandemic. And I don't go to the hairdressers ever because my hair doesn't grow. <laughs> I've had no growth in five years, but I do have a streak of gray that I wasn't able to fully cover. There's also a lot of thinning right here. I have a big streak of gray here and then diffused gray throughout. And I wasn't necessarily trying to hide it, but as someone who does showcase a lot of toppers, concealing the gray can be a little bit trickier. Now I have worn toppers for the last four years with my gray streak. So rest assured, if you're someone who does have diffused gray, you can still pull off a topper and it might just make it look more natural. But for the purposes of illustrating everything that I'm trying to illustrate, I tried to dye my hair the same color as my bio hair, which is usually a medium ash brown. I picked a level six ash brown and um, I think it was too light. And what ended up happening was not only did it lighten my hair overall, uh, but it made it reddish, even though I picked the cool color. So I obviously did something wrong. I mean, it's also just box dye, but the benefit is I actually think it's a closer match now for these Uniwigs colors than it was previously because the ashiness in my hair was always the problem. Anyways, I digress. So this is the light, the new code 505R, and this is the old one, 223R. I won't say old and new, I'll just say different. So the Upgrade Aura is just in a slightly different shade. But it definitely, if you can wear this, you can wear this, as you can see here, right? It just means more lightness overall. And that root is slightly, this root appears to be slightly lighter. Okay, let's talk about why you might like the Upgrade Aura, first of all. So if I already have a video on this, and I know some of you have probably already seen that video, but maybe it's just a good refresh or maybe you missed that video. And so we're gonna be looking at some of the specs of Aura again, um, even though we've done so previously just because she's here in a new color and that's exciting. So one of the things that I love about Aura, the thing that I love best is the skin top. So if I hold this up to the camera, you can see it really truly does look like a scalp. And there's nothing on the other side of it, like in terms of my hand or scar tape, it's the way that it's constructed. So they weave the hair 
into this silk-like material, but it's not silk, and then they put a backing on the back. So you always, no matter where you part it in this large parting area, no matter where you part it, you're gonna have realistic looking scalp. So it means you can do a center part, you can do a side part, you can do a zigzag part, you can do whatever you want because this whole area here, anywhere in here, looks like scalp all the way back, which is pretty awesome and pretty amazing, especially because it comes in at a lower price point than a silk chop. So that's my number one favorite thing. The second thing that I love about Upgrade Aura is the size of the cap. So she's seven and a half by seven and a half, I believe. I didn't even write it down because I have kind of internalized some stuff about Aura at this part. Uh, at this point, she's seven and a half by seven and a half, which is a generous size, especially if you have mid to moderate hair loss. Though personally, even in the earlier stages of hair loss, I think I would have gone for the larger cap because I just personally find them more comfortable. Um, Uniwigs includes a comb here. I don't use the front comb, so you can use it, you can leave it, you can take it out, whatever is most comfortable for you. It's meant to provide added security by just sort of lap, not latching on but combing into the front hair. These are, as you can see for me, a really sparse area. So it's very sensitive. I don't like to put anything on there. It also comes with these pressure sensitive clips and you have five clips around the perimeter. They're very easy open close. So I once saw somebody post a negative post about Unawake's clips, but it was an older topper that was being referenced. So old, in fact, it was before I ever started looking at Unawake's pieces. And I've now been looking at Unawake's pieces for coming on two years. So um, for the last two years, at the very least, they've been using these upgraded clips. And these are the same clips that I see in the luxury toppers that I wear. So these are good. They should not rip out your hair. Um, I, I really, these are my preferred clips. Like if I didn't have these clips in a topper, I would be going to buy these in the aftermarket. So these are good clips. We've got a wefted area around here. Um, and that basically makes up the cap. This particular piece comes in multiple lengths. I have the 18 inch here, and it also comes with pre-cut layers around the front for face framing, which I also love because I'm very lazy when it comes to maintaining my toppers. I don't wanna have to get them cut. I prefer not to cut them myself and I don't want to have to dye them. And that's because I don't have a stylist around here um, because I haven't been to the um, stylist since 2019. I don't have someone I can trust with hair toppers. There doesn't appear, even though I live in a very large city, um, there doesn't appear to be any specialist when it comes to this type of thing in my local city. So I just want something that I can buy and wear and certainly Unawake's Upgrade Aura meets that, especially in the dimensional color because it's very wearable right out of the box. Now in terms of purchasing your length, this is the 18 inch and Uniwigs always sends me pieces that are 16 to 18 inches in length um, because I do have long hair and you want to make sure that you are going slightly longer than your longest layer. So I can still sometimes pull off a 16 inch because Uniwigs is always generous with their length and I think that they actually do the measurement off the nape instead of from the center of the head and that's why. But for me, the 18 inch is definitely the best. So I always recommend going longer than you think you need because it will give you the ability to blend more easily. If you risk it and you do something that is where your hair is longer than the topper, you're, unless you have the perfect match of texture and color, it's going to be obvious. So make sure, I know it can be difficult, especially when you're purchasing online, you're trying to save money and I totally get that. Um, but err on the side of caution when it comes to length. It really does make a difference. Okay, let's plop this on my head, take a look at her in all her glory. Now, she's currently set in a center part and I'm not gonna move the part yet. I might do that in another video. Um, oh, let's also just look at how thin that is. I mean, I love Savannah. You know I love Savannah. She's a lot more hair. This is what I would pick time and time again, but this is like the perfect summer or a very wearable piece because it's not gonna be heavy and it's just not as much hair, not even close. Savannah, I find to be a pretty nice and thin silk top, but like, look at the upgrade aura. I mean, it's paper thin. So that's really nice. And um, I did have someone send me a message uh, after getting her upgrade aura. She got it in truffle brown, I think. And she was concerned about this area right here. I don't know if you can see that, that the color was a little bit light 
and I recommended just coloring it with a Sharpie and I think that's what she ended up doing. <laughs> she said like, yeah, I already tried, I already did, I went ahead and did it or something like that. So easy to conceal. Of course, if you're wearing the piece beyond, behind your own hairline, like if I had enough hair, then I would wear this further back and then you won't see it anyway. Um, okay, so it's a center part. I currently have a side part going on. So what I'm gonna do is just actually wear it to the side, even though it should be worn, you know, it should be worn center. But just for now, I'm gonna put it exactly where my part is. And I only clipped in two clips, but obviously if I was wearing this out of the house, I would put on more. Oof. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have other videos where I show you how to blend and how to do all of that. So if you wanna look them up um, or you're, you're looking for them, please send me a message or leave something in the comments. Uh, I won't do a blending video here because I have just learned that my favorite way to wear a silk top or a skin top as this one is, is just to wear it to the front of my hairline. I just don't care if it's not perfectly blended. It doesn't bother me. For some people, they're going to want the perfect blend. So then you can use root powder, you can use hair fibers, you can use uh, root spray, you know, whatever you want to do to, to create a blend. But for me, I just wear it right to the front and quite honestly, I don't think anyone can tell. And if they do, I don't care. That's just my feeling about it. Okay, hold. I'm gonna sit further back so you can see the length here. Look at that. Now it's kind of lopsided because I put it to the side. <laughs> it actually is a straight cut, right? It's just that I'm not doing center. Okay, so you can see the face framing pieces here. Look how, how effortless it is. I swear to you, I pulled it out of the hairnet and hit record and then I messed up in my recording and so I hit play again. But I had, I really truly just took this out of the hairnet. I hadn't even looked at it before hitting record. And like it hasn't even been brushed. Beautiful, okay. Enough of me staring at it because you want more details probably. So here's one more thing that I forgot to tell you that's important to note. This piece comes to you straight like this. It shows you the possibilities. It shows you the cut nicely and the color. Um, but when you wash it, it is going to dry wavier. It is 100% Remy Human Hair, um, I believe. I didn't write that down, but most of the Uniwigs pieces are. Uh, they also use Burmese hair, not in every case, but it's stated on the listing if it is Burmese hair. And I know that the Upgrade Aura is Burmese hair. So it tends to have more of a fluffy texture after being washed, and it also can dry wavy. Does that mean that it can't be straightened again? No. Like if you take a look at my Savannah here, who has been sitting out in the humidity because it's summer in Canada, and we get very humid, humid weather in the area that I live, this piece had been curled um, and partially curled. I didn't get all the way to the back. So it has loose waves put in and you can see that absolutely it can be straightened and it looks pretty similar. I mean, this is more straight, but I didn't take a flat iron to flat iron it. I took a flat iron to curl it. Um, so it can be returned to a very similar state, but if I wanted to crank up the wave and add some curl cream and do the scrunch, you would have a beautiful, summer wave. And if you take a look at my video of the original Aura, not the original Aura, the Truffle Brown Aura upgrade, you'll see the beautiful waves in it and you'll know how this is actually going to dry if you just let it air dry naturally and don't apply heat. So take a look at that video. I'll try and link the video in the description below so that you can get a really good before and after of what Aura can look like because there's a lot of possibility. So if you're a wavy haired girl, this is especially good for you because it has that kind of flexibility that's gonna let you try different things. Okay, I'll do a full 360 so you can see it from all sides, see the kind of coverage that we're getting and then I'll wrap it up. So this is my left side. This is my right side. And I'm sitting down so this makes it kind of tricky to show you the back. There we go. Upgrade Aura in the color, light mousse brown. She's super pretty. I'm so glad that Unawigs listened and delivered. If you have any questions about this piece or any other in the Unawigs lineup, please drop it below. Um, if I don't have an answer, I will do my best to find an answer. If there's a piece that you want me to feature on here, you wanna know what it looks like in person, just drop that below as well. I'll do what I can to feature it. 
um, as quickly as I can. So yeah, this one is a definite win. Love the color, still love the upgrade aura, love the layers, love the cut. Good job, Unit Wigs. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video.